very excited that uh, CSA came to Denmark this year and welcome you everyone. I'm particularly uh, excited to share uh, the newest findings uh, in uh, uh, mechanical thrombectomy in DVT and then uh, to discuss the uh, effects and the consequences of, of DVT uh, and the treatment and then to also look into the different devices which nowadays actually are quite good and especially dedicated to this kind of treatment. Today's session is called All You Need to Know About Venous Stenting and it's all in the name. So we're going to go from basics to advanced to venous stenting. We're going to focus a little bit on iliofemoral disease and the newer technologies. Um, and we're going to go through all of the technologies. You're going to learn how to stent safely, how to stent precisely and when not to stent. And that might be the most important thing of all. I want to share uh, technique education, but based on scientific background. That's very important. And I want to share the importance of the clinic of the patient. I'm going to look at uh, what can go wrong in venous stenting. So I've been to asked to talk about venous stent disasters. So we're going to look at some of the high profile recalls that have been uh, occurred in the last couple of years, why they've happened, what we've learned from that, and why, what to do if things start going wrong. How can you salvage your procedure and how can you mitigate uh, circumstances? In today's session, the topic is uh, Aortoiliac Adventures. There are four renowned speakers talking about very interesting topics, I think. Uh, they deal with Cobes trial, they deal with uh, external iliac artery disease and how to treat them. Another very interesting topic is uh, erectile dysfunction and how you can treat it via an intra-arterial way. And my topic will be the serap creation. Serap means that uh, we can treat task C and task D lesions and I will show you how to treat the patients, what patients are best uh, for this uh, type of treatment, what are the results of this treatment and where can complications occur. In today's session, we will focus on news and hot topics of endovascular stroke treatment. Regarding my talk, we will go deep into the techniques of endovascular stroke treatment with the question, is the combination with aspiration and stented river the new standard of care? In order to analyze this, we will uh, talk about the aspiration technique, the stent retriever technique, what are the benefits, what are the limitations, and which one to use in every situation. Today's session will be focused to embolization of neck tumors. This procedure can be really uh, problematic time to time and the uh, audience can or my colleagues can learn from the session how to avoid the complication and of course how to select the appropriate material and, and the technique. I am the most excited to share how to uh, select appropriate embolic material, how to select appropriate embolization technique and how to identify extra intracranial danger of anastomosis. So Boston Scientific is a leader of minimally invasive uh, procedures, whether it is on the vascular or intervention oncology side. And CRC for decades has been a great partner for us, mostly on three things. First of all, helping us to bring and discuss and debate the introduction of these meaningful innovations, like drug editing technologies, like uh, Therasphere CERT. Um, but then we also back up all of these uh, products with a very strong clinical program and it's great to debate them and discuss them here on podium at CRC. And last but not least, medical education. It's, a, it's a one of the key pillars when we introduce new technologies and he, we are partnering with CRC on multiple fronts and here at this Congress specifically with the hands-on session. Over the last few decades, we've introduced multiple products, meaningful innovation, um, clinical data that support these products as well as great uh, educational program and actually CIRSE here has been a great partner for us for all three. <laughs>